Okay, now listen to this. A mystical teacher sat by the seaside. It was about five o'clock because we heard the free ride. Anyway, the teacher was talking in stride, sitting upon a rock that was wide, warning against false pride. Come to where I reside, a woman cried, and the teacher replied, Do you serve your fish fried? Yes, she replied, with potato salad on the side, and the teacher replied, Well, where do you reside? She said, Up on the hillside, it's not a far ride. If you came to have dinner, I would be so gratified. The teacher replied, It's six o'clock, seven o'clock, you decide. She replied, Seven o'clock, do you like stir fried? She was mystified and felt so dignified the teacher was coming to the house where she resides. So she purified with pesticides, called her friends up nationwide. Some of her friends were tongue-tied, they felt so glorified. She made steamed fish, baked fish, fish that was fried, soup, steamed vegetables, potato salad on the side. You could smell the bread in the oven far and wide, natural juices and water purified. Organic fruits brought from the countryside with silver forks and knives placed side by side. You could not be dissatisfied. Looking out the window, staring at the mountainside, you would have died. 6.59, she's swollen with pride. As the moment intensified, there's a knock from outside. She opens the door, for the teacher has arrived. But to her surprise, it was a bum who cried. Please, I smelt the bread from outside. One piece. And then she replied, the teacher is coming. He's soon to have arrived. You're making me look bad. Come on now, step aside. The bum then replied, when I say I'm hungry, I haven't lied. Give me some of that chicken that you just fried. She replied, chicken? Fried? No, that's for the teacher. You're not purified. Then she slammed the door and went back inside, sat on the couch with the TV guide. She looked at the clock. It was 7.09, then 7.30. He still hasn't arrived. 8 o'clock, she's on the downside. 9 o'clock, by now she's teary-eyed. She's pissed off and her anger multiplied. She cried then fell asleep dissatisfied. Next day, she woke up and was preoccupied with meeting the mystical teacher who lied. Where could he hide? She ran down by the seaside. He was there teaching about false, false pride. pride. You lied, she replied. You lied. You said you'd be there at 7 o'clock. You lied, he replied. No, I have not lied. I came at 6.59, and you told me to move aside. I asked for bread, then the chicken that was fried. And you said that I wasn't purified. She replied, I wasn't notified. I had no idea that you was the bum that cried. And the teacher sighed, then replied, this concludes our lesson on false pride.